Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan Plus or the BLCP Plus of Digbao National High School for the school year 2021-2022. Tigbao National High School was established in June 1989, situated at Barangay Tigbao, Calatrava, Negros Occidental. The school is a hilly type with cliffs both at the left and right side and has a total land area of 10,000 square meters. Tigbao National High School has a strong workforce of teaching and non-teaching personnel that works together to meet its goals and objectives. Tigbao National High School is one of the schools in the whole that experienced more than a year of fighting against COVID-19 pandemic. With this, continuity plan is very important to the school's effectiveness and the ability to fulfill its mission in the teaching and learning process. As we continue to combat challenges and concerns brought by the pandemic, we are addressing these issues through the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan Plus, which take will affect in the coming school year 2021-2022. The BELCP Plus is our major response and assurance with regards to everybody's health, safety, and protection. Prior in the formulation of this BELCP Plus, preparatory activities have been made like virtual discussion, to gather information and plan activities that will suit to the needs of the learners, parents, and school's personnel as well. Specific objectives to ensure the learners of Tigbao National High School continue to learn despite COVID-19 crisis, we aspire to first, to provide assistance and support to learners to continue learning while normal setup is disrupted. Second, to utilize the different learning modalities suited to the needs of the learners while taking into consideration the availability of learning resources, ICT facilities, and teachers' capacity. And lastly, to strengthen partnerships with parents or guardians to ensure that learning will continue at home. There are 21 teachers in junior high school and 10 teachers in senior high school with a total of 31 teaching staffs. Scheme in the delivery and retrieval. For the junior high school, they had a set A and set B set up that happened every end of the quarter, while the distribution and retrieval of modules were done every Monday. The senior high school had one and one module, and the distribution of modules was done every Friday. Coordination with parents. The limited face-to-face -face parents orientation are through social media announcements. For the printing of modules, the school has three reproduction areas, so the teachers were grouped into three. Tracking learners' progress. The students' outputs were checked through teacher-made checklists and also teachers made a home visitation for those low-performing students. Igbao National High School received lots of donations from the alumni, private individuals, and Calatrava LGUs. Innovations, video tutorial, implementation, the teachers provide video lessons from the internet or teacher-made video to the learners to help them clearly understand the lesson. Impact one of the best strategies to explain the lessons and help them understand clearly. Mentoring of teachers by LAC leaders during LAC sessions or inset. Implementation. There will be identified strengths, weaknesses, and concerns of the school, teachers, and learners to be discussed during inset and LAC sessions 
through the collaborative efforts of leaders and teachers. Impact, a strategy that helps and supports everybody's needs. Activity enhancement. Implementation, there will be additional or supplementary activities like video provided to learners as part of their outputs. Impact, the alternative way that helps the learners with regards to their performance and motivates them to continue learning. Home visitation. Implementation. Teachers will visit to concerned learners with modules and other supplementary materials to help and motivate them. Impact. A way that monitors and helps learners' performance. Alternative work arrangement or AWA for the school year 2020 to 2021. The teachers were divided into three groups. The first group has off-site duty every Tuesday. The second group was every Monday. And the last group was every Wednesday. Teaching and non-teaching personnel vaccination. Igbao National High School has seven teachers with comorbidities. So far with no record of COVID positive personnel and has 11 personnels fully vaccinated. Learnings from school year 2020 to 2021 First, due to COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of changes have occurred in the field of education. We in the Department of Education have designed different ways of introducing learning to our diverse learners from modules to video tutorials and other resources within our reach. Second, everyone is affected in all aspects, especially on how to deliver the learning materials. At first, we adjusted our time for the distribution and retrieval of modules since there were parents who did not follow the given schedule for the set retrieval and distribution of learning resources. Teachers have provided themselves with their own printers just to cope up the time for the distribution. And third, but later on, everybody has adopted a new setup of education. We teachers, parents, and other stakeholders go hand in hand just to provide our learners quality education and prepare them to be globally competitive. These are the challenges encountered last school year 2020 to 2021. Parents' responsibilities, availabilities to support learners, internet connectivity or ICT facilities, learners' behavior and interest, and printing of modules. Action taken. One, communication through Facebook page, group chats, video calls, texts, and calls. 2. LGU of Calatrava sent learning support aid such as printers and band papers. 3. Realignment of MOOE. And 4. Stakeholders and parents donated alcohols, disinfectants, and other materials used for printing. Operationalization of the BELCT Plus. These are the class schedule and the teacher's schedule. Mechanics of delivery. The junior high school department will have its distribution and retrieval of SLMs by subject areas and will be done every Friday of the week. Senior high school department will have its distribution and retrieval of SLMs by subject areas and will be done every Monday of the week. Number of classrooms and projected enrollment. There are two classrooms per year level with a total of 12 classrooms. For the school year 2021 to 2022, there are 448 enrollees for this junior high school and 198 for the senior high school. The new AWA for the school year 2021 to 2022, the teachers are divided into three groups. The teacher's schedule for the junior high school. Strategies and projects. In January to June 2021, we have different projects and programs such as foot walks, 
repainting of classrooms, repair and maintenance of school buildings and damaged chairs and tables, and lunch counter. For the school year 2021 to 2022, partnerships with the Barangay LGU and other stakeholders will be strengthened as well as the Alumni Association of the school be fully operational this school year. Readiness for a limited face-to-face -face. Learning delivery strategies School and classroom setup 20 to 25 students per classroom Social distancing markings Necessary health supplies Hand washing facility Foot bath per classroom and other offices Monitoring and evaluation Assessment of learning Mode of monitoring and assessment for teachers. Conduct instructional supervision utilizing the RPMS COT. Regular monitoring of curriculum implementation by the school heads and the PSDS. Monitor, evaluate, and analyze home based individual formative assessment of teachers. For learners, assessment of learning for students are based on the interim guidelines for assessment and grading in light of the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan. Preparatory Requisites When it comes to individual health, the school and the community as well work together to impose and observe safety health protocols for the betterment of everybody. Monitoring and Evaluation As reported during the second SMEA, we have zero failures and a total of 15 students at risk of dropping out. This was taken into consideration and was given an intervention plan agreed during the SMEA conference and the intervention used was home visitation. Identified class advisors who have Sardis conducted home visitation and was able to recover the students which resulted to a zero dropout at the end of the school year. The following are being observed. In short, first and foremost, the safety and well-being of our clientele, making sure the minimum health protocols were observed. Printed the central office, regional office initiated self-learning modules. In the absence of CO and RO SLMs, the division developed SLMs and learning activity sheets were utilized. Designated drop-off and pick-up points for the distribution and retrieval of modules were established. Coordination with barangay officials were done for the smooth distribution and retrieval. Monitor the progress of milk utilization, implementation, as well as students' performance based on summative test results of the learners. Implemented intervention to bridge the gaps and intensify the learning gains of the learners who are lagging behind. The school conducted virtual kumustahan to discuss problems and issues in modular print delivery and shared experiences and practices to solve these problems. With the LCP 2020 to 2021, I have observed that issues and concerns raised was minor and common among schools offering the modular print learning delivery like parents cannot get the module on the scheduled date and the students were not able to return the answered module as scheduled there were also students who returned modules for two weeks for this school year virtual hub will be strengthened in small group through lack to address learning modality issues and planning of intervention in preparation for the SMEA conference. During the SMEA meeting, teachers, LGU, parent and students representative will still be invited to attend the quarterly SMEA conference to address the school's problems and issues. There are certain health and safety protocols to be observed in entering the school premises. First, wearing of face mask and face shield. Second, Social distancing of 1 to 1.5 meters apart. Third, thermal scanning. Fourth, presence of hand sanitizers or alcohol. Fifth, 
presence of foot bath at the entrance gate and in every classroom. 6. Presence of black book for contact tracing. 7. Presence of holding area for learners with symptoms of cough, fever, etc. 8. Regular disinfection of classrooms, laboratories, and offices every weekend. 9. No sharing or borrowing of personal belongings. 10. Bringing of own packed snacks and lunch. 11. Limited number of participants per activities are strongly encouraged. Presentation of the utilization of MOOE. These are the following concerns of the school. Having a zero dropout and failures, the school's main concern for the school year 2021-2022 will be the decrease of enrollment due to the separation of Paghumaya National High School and the unavailability of land area for Lipat on Annex because of the lack of interest of barangay officials to do their shares. Another thing is the pressure and the submission of reports amidst the situation and slow internet connectivity in the school and the budget for repropping of senior high school building. For school year 2021 to 2022, partnerships with the Barangay LGU and other stakeholders will be strengthened as well as the Alumni Association of the school will be fully operational this school year. This is the result based on the learning delivery modality that we have. Mangutana ko about bitaw sa bago na to ron nga modality sa learning kay tungod sa pandemic. So dili gyud ta pwede nga mag face to face. So mangutana ko ninyo kung willing pa Japan mo nga pa eskwelahon ang inyong anak. Ikaw ta. Okay ra, eskwelahon. Okay ra sa imo ha Japan bisag face to face modular Japan na to a. Ikaw madam. kay makaguide sa mga bata kung example nasa dili masabtan sa ihatag ninyo nga question oh, sa module oh. nila kay mama parents ko magiso na nagtanong ug mga anay lang gyud labi na patay obra sa balay mm, obra sa balay uh -huh. sige ana ra man kay naman ni paghatag ang module mo sa mga bata di padala na namo sa inyong mga anamo ninyo kay kamo man na parents ang wato dito sa kuan Parents, niya, kung nadyo'y dili masabtan, nara may mag-create raman ta group chat. Uh -huh. Oo, group chat niya. Huwag na gani dili masabtan, dito lang ipangutana. Oo. Niya, kung sa may inyuhang ikasulti ani sa bago na ito nga kuan. Magbaguhan dito ni ani, pero mas mayo mo niya Tigbao National High School BELCP Plus was designed to ensure educational continuity amid a crisis, but the health and safety of the learners and the whole school communities are of utmost importance 
and must be protected at all times. This is Joey C. Sotes, Principal 1 of Tigbao National High School. Thank you and good day.